All right, so after a long work week, Friday night, we decided to do something that's kind of different, uh, kind of iconic here in Stark County, kind of like the Master McKinley rivalry. You got pizza oven versus Krause's. Now I will say normally I would get double crust at Krause's, but for whatever reason, even though it was ordered, we got just a single crust. But we're gonna compare them anyway. We've got the pizza oven classic, which is sausage, banana peppers, and double cheese. That looks pretty tasty. And on the Krause, we got the same toppings, but it was supposed to be double crust. Uh, so we'll, we'll try it anyway, just the way it is, but I, th I think it'll be okay. And then we ordered potatoes cut thin. Krause has got that perfect. I mean, those are definitely thin. Pizza oven did not give me double thin. So both orders are slightly screwed up. All right, Harris, so what are you gonna start with? Krause's or pizza oven? That one. All right, Harris is gonna start with pizza oven. Well, you wanna start first? Cause I kinda want the middle piece. You want a middle piece? You gotta get a corner piece, man. Look how cheesy that one. There we go. First bite. Makes me think I'm 15 again. Oh my god, that's perfect. Oh no. That is a solid 9.5 right there. I'm choking on cheese. This is exactly what I thought it would be like. You took on a lot of things. Cheese. How do you eat that so fast? I'm a big boy. And the JoJo's. That is pretty thin. Oh yeah, that's good. Go. Oh no, I think I think Cross's JoJo's might be better. But I haven't tasted their pizza yet. But I don't know. I mean, growing up, we were a pizza oven family. But the kid down the street, he was Cross's family. But again, you know, if you go to Cross's, you gotta get the double crust. I'm not sure exactly what happened. A lot more uh, peppers on the uh, yeah. Krause's pizza. The Krause's pizza is pretty good. But the sausage is definitely more prevalent and better on the pizza oven. The sauce is really is tasty. different. You couldn't go wrong at either place. On uh, the pizza, though, I'm going to give the edge to the pizza oven. This is a, like an eight and a half versus a nine and a half. How about you, Harrison? You give any numbers? Yeah. So, topping wise, I'd say that one's definitely better. But this one's flavor is nice. It's different. It's not like normal pizza flavor. The, the sauce is really good. Well, yeah. kind of shocking how it was different. Yeah, they're completely different flavors. Different flavor uh, profiles. Krause's potatoes? The Krause's potatoes more potato -y. Yeah. It's got more of your traditional roasted potato flavor. It looks more like french fries. Well, we, ha we are always order cut thin. And normally, we get them cut thin at pizza oven. <clears throat> but they didn't do a very good job this time. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to give it to pizza oven. Pizza well, what's the number? Much. I'm gonna go eight and seven. Eight and seven from Harrison. But I think the JoJo's from Cross are better than the JoJo's from Pizza. There you go. That's our uh, Stark County Pizza face off. Harrison, what's your theory on a flamingo and a squirrel? Are they both the same height? Well, no, a flamingo is obviously taller than a squirrel. Well, I mean, are we talking a 10 foot flamingo and a 10 foot squirrel? Why would it? Maybe it's a 10 foot squirrel and a 10 foot flamingo. A squirrel all day. Why are they 10 foot? I don't know. Why is this, why is a squirrel fighting a flamingo? You brought it up. So if they're both 10 feet, I'm giving the edge of the squirrel. Okay, what if the squirrel and flamingo are just their normal sizes? I don't think the flamingo can catch a squirrel. What if the squirrel's attacking the flamingo? Does he have all of his little squirrel buddies? No, just one squirrel. Is there like a gang? Is like uh, Anchor Man where they just, you know. Just, just one squirrel, one flamingo. And they're just fighting. Yeah. Like yeah. The rabbit. Probably. I don't know. I mean, how angry is a squirrel? Pretty angry. He's getting pecked by a flamingo. I don't think it's the squirrel. I think the squirrel's just acrobatically advanced. Okay. 
All right. So you're giving it to the to the but, squirrel. I mean, if a flamingo grabs it by the jugular and just like yanks it, I mean, he's 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 out. So you'd bet on the uh, squirrel if most of the plus. time. Most of the time. Most of the time. If they're equally sized, it's squirrel all day. All all day. One hundred percent. There's zero chance for flamingo. A ten foot flamingo would be a ten. No way. <laughs> no way. I'd bet money on it. Really? Okay. All right. Here at Whipkey Septic today, we've got something different for you. Well, not really different. We've done hot chips before. Well, Harrison did, and he almost died. So today he's going to do the Peke one chip challenge. He's a wuss. He bought chocolate milk because he said, well, if he had chocolate milk, he could do anything. I don't know. It's helping. There's a warning on the back. It says, don't do it. It's an excessive Because you could warning. die. Yes. Uh, he has gloves because he's, you know, not wanting to get that on his hands. Fresh gloves. I'm just going to do the chips that he had the last time. Those are not the same ones. They're exactly the no, same ones. Not. Those ones are really They're 100% real. It's so freaking so. hot. Super hot, freaking hot. I don't know. I don't like hot stuff anyway. Yeah. So we're going to start at the same time. And then I'm going to switch over and probably move the camera on to him so we can all laugh. I'm definitely. Th uh, there's a good chance I'm throwing at him. Can't even open it. How are you going to eat it? I wanted to preserve the box. Oh, these are hot. Holy cow. Those, are, those aren't even the same ones I had last time. Those are a step below the ones I had last time. The lime part's good, though. Yeah, I had no lime part. I just had super hot. <clears throat> Why can't I open this box? <laughs> oh, my God. There's flyers in here. Eat the entire... Okay, there's rules for this. Right. Eat the entire trip chip is the number one. Wait as long as possible before drinking. No, absolutely not. And then three is post reaction. This is the inside of the box. These are tasty. This is a nice box. Look what this one says. Champion. 2020 champion. Yeah, you won't be getting that, will you? I'm gonna get that tattooed in my butt. One little tiny little chip. I've eaten like half the bag. It's black. Oh my god. I think the key is just to get it down as fast as possible. Like, break it in thirds. This is it. Take it up close so I can see a good shot of it. Looks like a nice piece of dried cow poop. Oh my god. Smell it. I, I, you can't. You can't smell it. Oh, it smells like death. These are tasty. All right. Wait, is that all of it? This is the whole, there's there's that and there's two little pieces. No, you gotta eat all of it. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'd stack it up and just, <clears throat> I'd get it all in there at once. These are getting warm, by the way. Oh my God. I wouldn't say they're death chip quality, but they're hot. I'm doing it. Well, it's in. In the comments, write how long you think it'll last. What do you feel? It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't look this way. We want to see it on your face. It's hot. No, I'm out. Okay. You can make it longer. It hasn't even been a minute. We all want you to go five minutes. There's no airflow in here. <laughs> Airflow makes all the difference. Oh no no! Come on come on! Go a little longer. You can do it. Be tough. My whole face is shaking. <laughs> My whole face is going numb. Your whole face is but well then it shouldn't hurt. All right, that's that's a full two minutes right there. Sissy. Oh my god. <laughs> was that the worst thing you've ever eaten? That was hot. Was that worse than breakfast pizza? No. I'd rather eat another one of those right now <laughs> and then eat breakfast pizza again. Mine are pretty good. Mine are just the right hot. It's like your whole, it's like your football's asleep, you know? Like, literally my whole head and like right to here is just. Imagine later when you poop. This is not helping. <laughs> I gotta poop first. 
<laughs> oh my god. You this is worse. not helping. You were worse when you ate these. I can't really. I can't. Use your help. words. I physically cannot say anything. Like, I physically. I may throw up. Mine weren't so bad. I didn't make a big scene like he did last time. Those are not. I might throw up. Well, don't throw up. How fast can you run in there and grab another chunk of milk? I'm not going back in there. Oh my God. We have to work after this, too. I really, I have to say, you handled that like a champ. I thought you'd bitch out after eating those other chips. No. Oh, when you burp, I bet it's horrible. Mine are just now warm in my mouth. Like, you know, you're still crying. I'm telling you. You want some tea lemonade? The lemon really works with it. Citrus is a great counteractive for the heat. Mm. Oh, God, there's a chance I'm throwing up. I just hope you don't poop your pants. Right, this is not working. Uh-oh, he's switching to the Gatorade. His nose is just pouring. Just grotesquely. Oh, God, that's words. You can't use those words. You can't use potty words. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I'm... I'm, I'm... <laughs> Hopefully they won't be able to understand the potty words coming out of your mouth. Oh my god. I think my, my lungs are gonna give out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how long it's been. Let's see. It's been a good solid five minutes. I think you're gonna be okay now. Your eyes aren't teared up as much. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so try the lemonade that helps a lot citrus cuts down the heat oh yeah why did i get this i told you that you don't listen to me like i'm old and don't know what i'm doing oh my god i shouldn't drink all that chocolate milk well, no you're gonna have to poop it's gonna be horrible while we're working you have another one no that was my only lemon one i have regular if you like some regular tea I have nothing to drink in now. Oh, God. That's just black tea unsweetened. It's what men drink. No, it's, no. it's what old people drink. No. Oh, uh -oh. my God. I think he's going to erupt now. I really think it might, it might be the time. I'm not sure. We're like eight minutes in. Yeah, we're eight minutes in. I think he might die now. You're, what, are you, what are you looking at? Look over this way. I'm just not. I'm trying not to pass out. And like the rest of my body is super cold now. Like it, it's cold. Well, that should be good. No, because my face is not. It's just and in your face? It's like one solid tube of just heat all the way down. That'll be a solid tube of heat coming out too. You can buy those at your local gas station for 10 bucks, in case you wonder. But I can't say he's a champion. I think he took it like a champ. He's shivering now. We've moved on to the shivering stage. It's rough. It's legitimately hard to speak. Every time I talk, it hurts. <laughs> Freaking hot, super hot. Oh, mine his. Okay, I apologize. Mine were just freaking hot. Right. I'm not even like warm. Yeah, because it had- Like you rolled around outside the truck for a good 15 minutes. Now sick. you're shivering in the truck. Yeah. But if you do do the chip challenge, the single chip challenge, there was a coupon in here, I think, for a free bag of the chips. Yeah. So you get one bag of Peke chips, which are up to a $5.99 value. So look at that. You can go ahead and get yourself some freaking hots. No, I'm okay. You, if you want some freaking hot. I just ate a bag of chips. I don't need them. You ate one chip, I ate a bag. Mine was black. <clears throat> I ate one solid black chip. Harrison. Do you have poop on your hand? It's chocolate. It's chocolate. <laughs>